Now that's a good question. So let's go to D365. Where we would manage that is in the general ledger, is in the account structures. So I always come in the back way. So in this case, and actually let's take a look. Let's go look at the PL. I think that makes it easier to understand. So in this case, what we're saying is that for accounts 4,000 to 999, these are the allowed financial dimensions. And some of these you can tell, so like this one, blanks are allowed and any value is allowed. So what I think the user is getting at is you may have like a deferred income account, your balance sheet account, and you're using financial dimensions to help manage deferrals and the recognition of deferrals. And let's say you make the decision to use financial dimensions to help with that. So what you want to do is to make sure that for that deferral account, that every transaction has to have a financial dimension. Every transaction coming in has to have a financial dimension, and every transaction coming out has to have a financial dimension. And so you would handle that through this account configuration structure. So there's a couple ways you can do that. So instead of having this whole line that says 4,000 through 999, let's say that it's 4,100 that you wanted to have this. And so you would have a separate line that says 4,100 to 4,100 is exactly this way, except that for the support, you could clear this basically so that blank values are not allowed. And if blank values are not allowed, that means then the financial dimension would be required. Another way that is actually probably a little easier to handle that, particularly if you've got different rules around different accounts, is to set up advanced rules. And we don't have time today to get into using advanced rules, but if in your structure you're not using advanced rules, then it's an area I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you take a look at. And this is where you would just basically say, let's say that 211001 is our deferred revenue account. So then we would say where main account is 211001, we would have another rule here. And then we would say that the financial dimension of contract or financial dimension of whatever is required. And then that means that every company then that is using this account structure that this advanced rule is attached to, that rule would apply. And so every transaction gets posted to the account would be the financial dimension, which is a great control because then you're not ending up with all these transactions going in and out of your control account that are not attached to a contract or not attached to a subscription or whatever.